text like one of my friends is like, are you getting married this month and you didn't tell me? What am I supposed to do? Is this kid gonna tell me what to do? Pregnant with her jailbird bow, baby. You can call me baby mama drama. We're just stopping to vacuum out the car. This Chevron, I don't know if you can see it behind me. They have free vacuums. So cool because the car washes in Vegas are not like New Jersey. It's not inside and outside. It's just inside. And here's a total confession. I'm petrified to go through the car washes where you sit inside of the car. It gives me major anxiety. It's crazy, which is sad because this is a car wash and my car needs to be washed so bad. So we're waiting for Adam to do that. I told him this time I'll be in the driver's seat, but I just want him in the car because like, you can't see. And then I never know when to break. I don't know. I'm weird, but look at, I don't even know if you can see. Can you see, or is it somewhere? Right, that's just filthy. It's gross. It's got to be vacuumed. I will be back. We climb the greatest heights. Jump down and have a fight. And that's how we'll have a life. I finished cleaning the inside of my car. I have all of this stuff that I keep in the trunk. What's funny is, I used to keep this umbrella in my back seat because you never knew when it was going to rain in New Jersey. But it's very different nowadays in Las Vegas. And Adam just threw it in there. And it was in the trunk and I had no idea. So the car's all vacuumed. But you know what, you guys? We are no damsels in distress on this channel. So we're gonna conquer the car wash together. Here's the thing. Dutch Brothers is right next door. I'm putting on my seatbelt to go through the car wash. Dutch Brothers is right next door. It's like our favorite coffee spot in Las Vegas. I only drink decaf now from there because pregnant, but they have these like freeze drinks that are kind of like the equivalent of a Starbucks Frappuccino situation. So if I conquer the car wash, which obviously I will, once you're in it, you're in it. Then we're gonna go get a Dutch Brothers, but we're gonna do this together. And I will tell you guys this really funny story while we're doing it to distract myself. So here, I'm gonna put you guys here. Let's hope you can see me. Normally this is all set up to go. It's like a dash cam, like hands-free situation. There we go. But I just cleaned the vent. I just cleaned the car, the inside. So I moved it, but we're good now. Okay. <laughs> Like they tell you when to take your car off of neutral, when to put it in neutral. Like, what am I scared for? I don't know. I'm weird. I'm so weird. It's just something that I haven't ever really done. So you fear what you don't know, which for me today is a drive through car wash. Yes, it is. Okay. Ooh, I'm already nervous. Hi, how are you? Very good. What's the difference between the different washes? On 10 and 13, the difference is just armor on your tire. Okay, and what's that, the lucky one? And the lucky one is a hot lava and hot wax. Is that a big difference? Yes. I'll try that one. Yes, because on, on this one, hot lava, uh, at the end, the, the car is very shiny. Okay, let's try that one. Mm -hmm. uh, and I've never done this before. You tell me what to do, right? Yes. I, okay, I okay. Perfect. perfect. Thank you. Thank you. And I receive all the time on the dash. Please. Oh, okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you so much. I figured since we're doing this on YouTube, we'd go for the highest quality where you get hot lava. Who knows what that means? But okay, let's pay attention, Ro. Okay, foot off of brake car neutral. Oh, I'm so scared. Guys, I'm so scared. I can't even. I can't look at the windshield because I can't see out of it. So it freaks me out. Okay, so here's a story. Oh my God. So I did an interview with a company in the UK that found me and my story and Adam's story, I believe on YouTube. She's like, are you interested? And I run an online publication and I was like, or I write for an online publication. And I was like, sure, UK based. Didn't think it was a big deal. Admittedly, sort of dragged my feet on it because pregnancy. We're just going to blame it on pregnancy. I've been slow with everything. I've been tired. I need to get on it. That was like weeks ago. She asked me for some pictures. I was like, you can use whatever you want from online. Here's my Facebook. Here's Adam's website. Take whatever you need. You guys. Today, Adam calls me and I, I totally forgot about it. Adam calls me and he's like, did we have an article come out about us? And I was like, I, what are you talking about? I thought it was about him. I'm like, well, did your attorney do something? I knew his attorney was working on something, but that's not for like, that's not going to be for like the fall. And he was like, no. And then he's like, well, can you search it really quick? I'm in a meeting at work and somebody just told me that an article came out about us. Oh my God, you guys. That's the scariest. 
So I looked, I couldn't find it. You guys probably cannot hear a word I'm saying right now. I'm sorry. So I should wait. You can't hear me, right? I'll tell you at Dutch Weather. We're still gonna do this together. Who else is scared of the car wash? Why? The lighting is pretty though. I get it. See now, this is the. I was like, that was nervous because I couldn't see anything. But this is also the part that scares me when like the car shoots off, and you need to know when to brake. He's gonna tell me, right? Oh, lies. What are these sound effects? I feel like Snooky. So anyway, he's like, can you look it up? I looked it up, couldn't find anything. And the lady that told him about it sent him the link. It's in the Daily Mail. I had no idea. So I started getting texts. Like one of my friends is like, are you getting married this month and you didn't tell me? Because I, when I answered her questions, responded that we were supposed to get married legally in February, but that didn't work out. We wanted to get married on 213, but he had a huge work thing he had to do. I'm sorry, I'm so distracted. What am I supposed to do? Is this kid gonna tell me what to do? Oh, please. What? I braked and I don't think I was supposed to, but it looked like I was gonna hit that kid. Thank you guys for doing this with me. I put the car back in drive and I put my foot on the brake and I don't know if I'm supposed to do that or not, but YOLO. Okay, now I think we're getting the hot wax lava. Hot lava wax. Sounds so fancy. So they got that fact wrong because I was like, we at that point we're like, well maybe we'll do it in April if Adam's mom comes out to visit, then she'll be here. But I don't think that's happening. So yeah, we'll get married when we get married. And the whole point of me telling her that was like, Adam and I are not legally married. We say prison wife and family member and people are so dedicated to their spouse in prison. They deserve to kind of have that title, right? So are you guys done? No. I've been getting texts throughout the day. I texted my sisters. My aunt in Florida saw it. I was so excited. She sent me the link and she's like, I love you and miss you so much. She didn't even know I was in Vegas or pregnant. So I guess this is my announcement video. Thank you. Oh, I should have tipped, huh? Since we're in the spirit of drive throughs today, let's go through the Dutch Brothers drive through Because... Why not? Oh, mother of pearl. I can't go through the drive through Oh, my God. Because that's backed up onto the street. And if I go through that drive, if I cut right there, then I'm cutting people off. This is so long. I'm just going to be really lazy and I'm going to turn the car around. I'm going to go onto the street, onto the main road, do a U-turn, <laughs> turn around and come back to the Dutch Brothers drive through so I told my sister, I'm like, you know, I just wanted to let you know that I told her that you're pregnant too. Surprise, did I tell you guys that? Two of my sisters are pregnant and me at the same time. And it just makes me sad that I'm not with them in New Jersey, but that's okay. It's just life as we know it right now. Thank you. So she's like, oh my God, you're a celebrity. That's huge. I have your autograph from all of your birthday cards for me throughout our life. I'm going to sell them on eBay. And I was like, that's cool. As long as you split, the, I mean, obviously we're, sh we're joking with each other, but I'm like, as long as you split the earnings with me, because guess what? I'm going to be broke after I got fired from this. Just joking. Somebody said that they had, I can't even say without laughing, that they had a Snapchat ad of it. I'll post the picture of it right there. I'm sorry you guys are tilted. My thing just fell. The title of it was Pregnant with Her Jailbird Bow or something like that. Pregnant with Her Jailbird Bow's Baby. I was laughing so hard. I sent the screenshot to Adam. Say that 10 times fast. I sent the screenshot to Adam and then I called him immediately and I was like, hey, Jailbird Bo. And he started laughing so hard. I was like, that's so insulting, but I'm gonna call you that forever. And he started laughing and I go, you can call me baby mama drama. And he goes, no. <laughs> so there's my funny story while I'm stuck at a red light. I thought I'd be at Dutch Brothers in line telling you this story, but that's not happening. So. Holy mother of pearl. If you're interested in another video with me, click one of those that pops up on the screen. If you don't see that, just go back on my channel and watch whatever you want. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one. Mwah.